What's up, what's up? Things are getting real in Epic 7. <laughs> Man, uh, we're about to have a serious conversation right now. I want to talk to you guys about some of the changes that are coming. Um, yeah, um, there's that's that's some big things coming. I know they said major update, but holy crap. Uh, they didn't release all the details, so we don't really know. Yes, three-star heroes are getting nerfed. So, I have to wait and see. Um, so, last, last week... I put out a video, or a few days ago, I put out a video, stop resetting uh, your account. Uh, but depending on these changes, that might or might not be valid advice, okay? Because uh, I, I was, you know, because as the way that it stands right now, you can pretty much invest in specific heroes, and you're good to go, specifically Thierry and Elson. Um, that's who I was using primarily. But depending on how how big this nerf bet is, will determine the change. I want to talk to you guys about what I think the nerfs are going to be. Um, but like I said, we're just gonna have to see but Before you guys get all get your cookies in a pinch uh, I want to talk about some changes that they are making in the patch that offset that to kind of put you in a really strong situation So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and uh, also I think there are gonna be more adjustments after this patch Don't don't quote me on this, but I feel after reading through this I think there will be further balancing down the road uh, So this is I think this is just one big stride uh, in the process of what they're doing here. I don't need these because I'm not, I'm not listening to anything. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. So, um, hi, Super Creative Development Team. Today I'll give you more detailed introduction uh, to the major updates made in the bar and give you an overview of some important balancing changes. Uh, so first and foremost, guys, uh, the major update adds a new update maze called Maze Azuma Callus. Adds a new challenge, content mashing, um, mashing? Uh, regarding balance skill up, balancing greatly improved, and some heroes upgraded and downgraded. We also have a recall system uh, to minimize the inconvenience caused by downward adjustment of heroes. Yes. There are also updates for new set items and new Moonlight heroes. That's right, guys. New Moonlight heroes. Things about to get crazy. Uh, Royal Root, Azuma Cows, a raid type labyrinth. Um, after the fall of Nurgle, the guy that's, that we've been looking at uh, that nobody knows how to get. Uh, the king was sleeping dead in Azumar Callus, uh, but the Shirax and the ancient nobles woke up and began to march to Dunblane uh, to find their old glory again. Uh, the royal Azuma Callus is retype labyrinth, um, aiming at hunting various bosses rather than the existing exploration content. Uh, this new type of labyrinth is made up of a huge one section and requires two labyrinth compasses, entry tokens to enter. But once exploration is completed, powerful rewards are offered that are incomparable to other labyrinths. So, uh, first, before we get into these bosses here, the thing, how the hell do we get two labyrinth tokens? Do we have to buy them? Are they going to supply us more labyrinth tokens? Do we start with three labyrinth tokens instead? Um, I'm curious to how this is this is going to pan out. Okay, so I'm... I, I don't know how they're going to adjust that, or do we just have to buy an extra one every day to get in? If so, that's kind of whack, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm sure they've taken that into account. We'll have to see how this plans out. So, um, again, the rewards are incomparable, so this is going to be interesting to see. You got the executive Carcans. Carcunus is the shadow of the queen, um, and he visits the aristocrats who prove to have committed treason or felony similar to them and forces a sentence according to the queen's will. He does not reveal himself. That sounds pretty sick. Uh... Araka Arahakan? Araha Arahaha <laughs> is the head of the Azimuth Hunters and is always infamous godfather who craves for the victims to appear. He slowly kills captive enemies and enjoys absorbing the period. Um, Quan Bera, most of the time, is spent deep underground space alone. He manages the internal affairs and treasury of the, uh, the Agmanis royal family and prepares a big picture for the future. Uh, the plan that embodies the invasion of the ground is one of her works. Let's see, I'm not going to read the rest of these, but you guys get the idea. Um, I think the, the meat and potatoes, though, is going to be this queen here. Uh, the queen, awakened from a long sleep, is furious at the fact she was deceived. Although the target of revenge, Nilgal, has disappeared, um, her unstoppable at battle and anger turn to the surface of the Orbis world. Okay? Um, yeah. You know that queen boss is going to be sick. So anyway, so you can get a reward. It says for each unique drops um, through every raid boss... Bosuman? I don't know what that is. And Agatsuma Aid Fasalis. And yeah, yeah, we just we're just gonna pretend we we know what that means. We have no no idea. But basically, what it says is that uh, after you kill it, it, does not come back for a week. In other words, you gotta wait a week. Uh, you basically, you can do one 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 or one or two bosses uh, every week. 
if you're strong enough and then you gotta wait for it to reset, I'm assuming. Uh, so the information on the raid boss appearing, the regency situation, and the drop table are both supported by the boss book and additional systems so that they can be checked before entering the labyrinth. Um, in order to get rewards effectively, you must select the correct hunting target within the enormous labyrinth and strike the area with the shortest distance. Fraud of one team at a time. You can kill two bosses, good teamwork of the party. At the margin of fraud, can also be hunting more. So, um, I guess if, if, again, here you can do one, but if you're good enough, you can do two. So if you manipulate it, you know, the right way, you can get it done. So it's also at the, the entrance of the maze, the supporting PC of the sword, uh, is selling a variety of items necessary for the labyrinth. Through the NPC, you can acquire powerful equipment and rewards through tokens that you only get in the labyrinth. <sighs> I love this game. I, I, just, I just love it. Uh, it's divided into normal and hell difficulty. In case of hell difficulty, normal difficulty will be updated within two weeks after opening. Uh, the new labyrinth is expected to be the most difficult PvE content in Epic 7 so far, and we have prepared the most powerful rewards for difficult difficulty. What more do you want, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, they're putting this out before Christmas, you know? Like, what companies you know working? Everybody else is on vacay. They're like, look, we're not even doing anything. <laughs> but anyway, we got new set items, okay? So, set of pincers increases the probability of pincers. So, I'm assuming that increases your dual attack chance, Terranor Guard. Let's go. Um, but, I mean, now you might not even need them. Well... I mean, yeah, I mean, that's pretty, pretty, that's a pretty OP set. Uh, you got immune set, so my Summoner's War players, will runes are going to be here. You know what that means? Strippers are going to become a thing now. Uh, so for those of you guys running slow teams, will sets will become a thing. Or, sorry, immune, immune sets, my bad. Uh, it gives you immune response for one turn at the beginning of combat, okay? Um, set of rage, damage is increased if the target is weakened. Uh, this is going to be really good for PvE, in my opinion. Um... Or if you guys are running any types of units that apply attack break or defense break. I'm assuming weakened, I don't know if weakened is, is uh, referring to just attack break or defense break or if it's referring to any harmful effects at all. Uh, but regardless, um, we'll have to see what the damage margin is. And again, the way that it sounds is it's going to be really good in PvE if it applies to all harmful effects. Um, or if it's just like attack break or defense break, regardless, I think you could be good on cleave teams in arena. So if you're running like an AOE cleave, you got the set on, let's say you're running like a, like a, like a speed, uh, rage set or something like that. Um, depending, maybe this might not be a two set, it could be a four set, so we don't know. But if you're running like a rage set, you could deal increased damage and it could increase your cleave potential. So... Again, we'll have to see once we get the full information, but from the sounds of it, um, these sound pretty, pretty stupid powerful, okay? Um, pretty dumb. Okay, so next up, guys. Uh, oh, wait, look, before before we get to the next part, because it's pretty big. Uh, it says these new set items can, can be obtained uh, from normal and held difficulty labyrinths first and will be added as tokenized content for smoother farming in the future, okay? So first, if you're if you're gearing where it's at, you ain't farming this. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, but you know later on when everybody gets to where you know they're comfortable farming, then they'll add it for convenience. Okay, so here we go. Upgraded fourth and fifth hero sets. That says right now there is little difference in the ability of each hero in the current level. At first glance, it looks like a level with no ability difference. Uh, so basically, what they're saying here is between. Um, Three star, four star, and five star. Everybody's pretty much the same, which I I legit agree. Like, there's some three stars that are better than five stars. There are three stars that are better than four stars. There's some four stars that are freaking ridiculous strong. Um, but yeah, I could, I could definitely see that. However, it was judged that the difference in the basic ability of the heroes of the high birth rate needs to be at a level where the discrimination power can be perceived, even if it is small. Okay. So what they're saying here is that. You should be able to tell the difference between a 3-star, 4-star, and 5-star. Meaning, when you have a 5-star, you should feel like you have a 5-star. When you have a 3-star, it should probably be a 3-star. Although 3-stars will definitely have potential and we have crazy gear, that can they be good? Absolutely. But should they be outclassing a nat 5? Probably not. Okay, so like for my Summoner's War people, should Mav be stronger than Jameer? Absolutely not. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of one of those things. Um, therefore, the development team plans to raise the level 4th and 5th class heroes slightly. Now, so this is not going to be a dramatic change. Uh, so as you guys can see here, 4th hero stamina, attack, defense, and speed increased by about 3%. Um, I mean, that's, that's pretty significant though, to be honest, guys. Um, 
that's that's pretty that's really significant three percent is huge you're talking speed especially speed oh my god um yeah that's that's a big deal uh grade five heroes health damage defense speed increase about six percent so i mean i know they said slightly but that's that's big that means like for a hundred speed that's six more speed on a five star you know what I mean? That's that's the difference between a first turn and rip. <laughs> so, I mean, that's pretty significant. <laughs> that's really, really significant. <laughs> I didn't see that when I read through the first time, guys, but that's pretty huge. Um, Epic 7 Heroes must complete the skill up, uh, or it says improve skill by Epic 7 Heroes must complete the skill up uh, to achieve the core strategy and performance of the hero. However, it's not difficult to strengthen the skill of third class heroes, but the number of heroes of the fourth and fifth grade heroes seems to be excessive enough to break the motivation to strengthen these skills. Um, so what they're saying here is like when you look at the material cost uh, for awakening and, and skill ups, it's really expensive um, for four star and five star heroes. So they're saying that they're noticing that people are just skilling up like first skill or third skill or second skill or whatever is important. Because what's the point if you could just use three star heroes and just get by anyway? Um, so what they're saying is they're going to be modifying, um, you know, the amount of stuff that you'll need to do to get a hero fully awakened right so i mean that's that's what i'm taking from this you know it could be wrong but that's what i'm i'm getting for this so as a result high level heroes will be able to greatly reduce the number of quests required to play with the goal of mastering the skill enhancement okay so when the update is applied even if a hero who has already been strengthened uh with the skill it will be reimbursed by postal mail which is used excessively um more than the downgrade requirement okay so if you guys can see here before um, you know, let's say it took like, you know, 120 or whatever, or 100 for the grade 4 and 3, it was over here, and now they're now reducing it, so it's relatively fair, <laughs> right? So, uh, so if you guys spent all that, be prepared to get that back, this is really going to be nice, I'm saying. So anyway, let's get to the part that you guys are all really concerned about. Um, so combat and hero balance adjustment. First of all, the effect of increasing the defense strength is lower by... Uh, Lower by 15% compared to the previous one. So defense buff is nerfed by 15%. So whatever the hell it was before, it's going down 15%. Uh, now before people get all crazy, like defense buff is nerfed, like listen, defense buff is a defense buff, okay? Um, so it's still going to be valuable regardless. Now, how that's gonna scale, like I don't know like how drastically they're gonna change these three stars, uh, but the defense buff will be t uh, scaled back, so be prepared to plus your gear because you got to make up for if you guys are relying like on that permanent elson buff every three turns um be prepared to um upgrade your gear to to compensate for that okay so anyway uh increased armor has been adjusted to be highly effective when compared to all sustained effects but it will show its presence as the strongest sustained effect even if it is downgraded okay uh the adjustment of the defense increase effect is aimed at slightly reducing the dependency on the PvE content of high difficulty, but the PvE content damage is reduced as soon as possible so that the users who have relied on the increase of the protection of PvE, uh, it doesn't become overly difficult. So, um, what they're saying is they're taking into consideration, you know, the damage that monsters deal versus, you know, constantly relying on that buff. So that way, when they do nerf the defense buff, it's not to the point where now, since you're relying on that buff, you're just getting smashed into the ground. And that's why I said, like, you guys should be prepared to upgrade your gear. I mean, it's pretty much an easy fix. Um, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, uh, again, when we get into what I think the nerfs are going to be and what you guys might expect here, um, just because there are going to be some pretty significant changes. Okay, Hero balancing is adjusted. Uh, the upcoming heroes, so basically who they're, who they're uh, improving is Dingo, Kali, Yupin, um, and Bale. And the downward heroes are going to be Tiaria, Elsin, Lycoris, uh, Ilios, Axis. Yes, so all you uh, Axe God people. Yeah. <laughs> and Artifact Sachets? I don't, I don't know what the heck... I, I don't know what Artifact Sachets is. But um, Artifact Sachets? No idea. No idea. All right. He says, uh, I've been extremely careful about the downward adjustment of heroes since I adjusted Ravi since the service started. However, after a careful review over a long period of time, some heroes all-in-one sets and overperformance cut down on the possibilities and opportunities of so many heroes, so we decided to downgrade. 
Uh, I think that uh, the disappointment of many users who down, uh, who play Downward Heroes is great. However, since Epic Seven is not only avoiding hero heroin um, inflation due to the improbable upgrade of heroes, but also trying to meet the horizontal design of heroes as much as possible, uh, they ask they're asking for our understanding and understanding of the process of maintaining Epic Seven's ultimate direction. Okay, so. Here's the deal. Um, well, actually, before we get into that, it says, um, in order to minimize the inconvenience caused by downward adjustments of the heroes, um, they're including the hero recall system. Uh, so heroes that have been downgraded are selected for a certain period of time from the update time, and heroes can use the hero recall function. With this ability, you will be able to collect all resources and energies of gold, experience, upgrades, awakening materials, heroism, and catalyst to nurture the heroes. We get all that back. Um, after next week's update, the hero recalls include Tiaria, um, Elsin Rikoris, <laughs> thank god, um, <laughs> Ilios and Ravi, uh, and Kyrus, and Artifact Sagittes, I don't know what that is again. Also, during the period of the update, the cost of equipment removal for all systems is adjusted to zero gold, free, free gear removal, allowing users to study various heroes, which is good. Um, hero downgrades are the most sensitive and, and inexplicable inexplicable patch in the process of serving epic 7 and will be reviewed for a long time like i said this is probably just the first step even if the hero downgrade is done in the future okay so understand new companies are learning um you know shit happens <laughs> now uh before we get into the rest of the update guys i have to really talk to you guys the reality is this um let's look at these so tiari is probably going to get reduced like her attack bar increase is probably going to get reduced. Potentially, I could see them even making it so she only increases uh, the combat readiness of your team when it's on her turn. So it won't apply in team attacks, you know, stuff like that. Um, in terms of Elson, I see them increasing the amount of time that it takes for him to cast his buff, right? Because right now, all you have to do is use burn plus whatever, and you can run permanent buffs the entire time. So I see one of maybe his third skill going. On top of the defense reduction, maybe a cooldown increase for Elson. So his three turn going to a four turn, potentially even a five turn buff. Um, so that way you it's still difficult and you still have to manage your team. Does that make sense? So that's something I can see there. Um, like Horus, I can't even remember who that is. Ilios Axis, they're probably going to adjust the scaling on the damage because it's just a little bit too strong. Okay, I mean it's just what it is. And I have no idea what the hell an artifact statue is. Uh, in terms of the upgrades for Dingo, Kali, Yupin, and Bale, like, I don't understand why those heroes need upgrades. I mean, Kali, okay. Yupin, for what? Dingo is already good, and Bale, like, he's he's a beast. Like, a lot of people compare, complain about him, but he's he's a beast. He's a beast in Wyvern right now. Like, I, <laughs> you know, like... So, I'm curious to see, like, these upgrades to these heroes, because I feel like they're going to be strong, like, really strong, uh, but we'll have to see. But the three stars definitely, um, definitely getting hit with a nerf bat, but, again, I, 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 I don't anticipate that they're going to be that crazy, but, like, they'll be significant, right? So, it's not going to be, uh, you know, these are not going to be units that, you know, you can just kind of get into. Oh, I'm sure you can get into the game and still use them and they'll still be effective. But it'll, it'll now give you motivation to find other heroes to upgrade. So then you'll want to move from an Elson to, uh, to a DN or, a, you know, whatever, you know, but how that works out. Um, let's see. Okay, so other news uh, in addition to the information described above, there are also new additions to the game, including a new challenge. Uh, memorable story uh, for the, we're getting a new side quest, a new artifact, new Moonlight Hero, and a new hero. Okay, it's so a new hero, Moonlight Hero, artifact, and new side side quest. Um, so this is going to be good. Uh, the following developer notes will cover a detailed review of the entire contents of the guild as well as the sub stories and core content that will greatly be improved in the future. Also, want to give my limited thanks to people that play Epic Seven, love them, and continue to evolve and work hard. Okay, um, so. Yeah, <laughs> nerfs coming. So with, with that being said, um, yeah, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to speak on this prematurely because again, I don't know exactly what the change is going to be to the three stars. 
Um, I know people are gonna like overreact and like just go to the wall with this shit. And be like, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. And there's going to be a lot of crying. A lot of crying. So listen, guys, I got tissues for your issues. I got violins. I got orchestra. Whatever y'all need. Jazz. Sad in the pants. I see it. Um, but try not to overreact until we see exactly what the change is going to be. I guarantee that these units will still be effective. They just won't be OP. You know? And fair enough. Just because, yeah. And with the stat changes, guys, to these four and five stars. Yeah, people are going to be re-rolling more than ever. So listen guys, my, my take on this as of right now, and again, this is subject to change, re-roll your damn hearts out. <laughs> I mean, for those of you guys who have already been progressing, like if you guys are already doing Wyvern 10 and all that stuff, like for, for me, like there's no way in hell I'm resetting. I'd never reset again. I don't give a damn who they nerf. Uh, especially with this Labyrinth stuff coming, like there's no, no way. Um, I still feel like, guys, if you have solid heroes, solid nan 5, solid nan 4s, um, still get into the game. Like if your three stars get, if, if the three stars get nerfed all the way to the point where they're no longer effective, just get a refund. Um, I'll be doing videos, uh, you know, covering like replacement units and stuff like that. Uh, for those of you guys who like, let's say are using Tiara and let's say Tiara, they just change her skills to first skill, lays on the bed, second skill, goes to sleep, third skill, doesn't give a shit. Um, <laughs> if they, if they nerf it that bad, like there's already hero replacements that I got in my mind that can help you guys out, you know, get your team resituated and all that other jazz. Cause I'm going to have to do the same thing. Cause I six star Tiara, I six star Elsa and I six star uh, well, I didn't six star recourse. Fortunately, I have a five star recourse, um, but most of that stuff I've built. Okay, so I didn't build none of that other jazz though. So <laughs> I didn't get no Ilios X or none of that nonsense. So, <laughs> like I said, we'll kind of deal with this together. You know, as a community, you know, as somebody you know whose opinion you guys trust in, um, I will do my best to make sure that I have all all of my information correct um, before I offer advice as to what you guys should do. But this is great, great opportunity. We got locked tons of new stuff coming. I'm super excited about that. I'm also excited to see what these nerfs are gonna be. Um, and with that being said, guys, hey, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let's talk about this. Let me know in the comment box below. And with that being said, guys, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.